Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. Let's get right into it. The way you do it can't be done. Many have tried, but haven't been able to accomplish your level of greatness. The way you do things, it's not easily replicated. People can try and copy you. People can try to do things the way that you do it, but they're not going to be successful as outdoing you with your own performance. It's like trying to out rap someone with their own lyrics. It's like trying to out dance someone with their, with their own dance moves. It's like trying to out sing someone who created the song and who's an awesome singer. You saw all those ladies who were very good vocalists on the BET Awards try to sing the Anita Baker song, but none could quite compare to the, the, the great Anita Baker. So, which I'm a huge fan of, love, love Anita Baker. The way you do it can't be done. Many have tried, but haven't been able to accomplish your level of greatness. You're great at what you do. You take pride in what you do. You had to take it from the ground level to where you're at now, as far as your skill, learning new techniques, having to figure things out, not knowing what to do, not quitting or giving up because you haven't quite learned everything. The way you do it cannot be done. Nobody can do it like you. Nobody can do it the way you can. They're better off going and doing it their own way. If they were to do it their own way and to put their own spin on it and to be themselves and to find out what they're good at, that would have a tremendous benefit on their life. But they're too busy trying to do what you did. They're too busy trying to do it how you did it. They'd rather copy you instead of be creative. Now, if you, if you copy someone, at least go and do something, some of it yourself, all right? Somebody, you're creative, somebody's being creative. That's not necessarily copying. It's like, okay, this person's being creative. It's time for me to get creative. That's really not necessarily copying, but that's what a person should mimic. If they see someone doing something, you should go do something, but you don't have to do exactly what someone does or do exactly what a person did. They're trying to recreate. They're trying to remake, remix something that they just need to leave alone and put down and just appreciate, just appreciate it. That's all they need to do. They just need to put it down and appreciate it and just let you do your thing. Because you only do your best. And when it comes to what you do, it's like the way you put a spin on it. Other people may try to redo it. Other people may try to make it happen that way. Other people may try to have the same effect. But no one can have the same effect when it comes to doing something that someone does. It's like trying to, to, to outdo MJ in basketball in, in 98 or 97 or anybody. Our, uh, LeBron James It's like trying to outdo him on the court. It's like, if that's not your thing, don't do it. You know, there are other basketball players, but still there's not a lot of people who put in the same amount of time and effort to be great at what they do. There are a lot of people who are great at what they do. There are a lot of people who have achieved uh, wonderful things. You know, it's like you become this, you become that. But then there are people who choose to become something and they like, they, they become known for it because they leave their stamp on it. And they do such a great job to where people hold them up to some type of high reverence because of the, the skill that they've accomplished over the years of doing what it is they do. 
All right, some people, they do things, they know that's what they do, they know they're supposed to do it. They know that this is their, this is their uh, area of expertise and they do a great job. All right, a lot of people, some people don't know what it is they want to do. And it's like they're, they're committing a uh, sorcery. All right? It's like a, a magician is down to the science and a sorcerer is like a copycat. So most people are out here committing sorcery instead of actually being dedicated to the science of what they do. When it comes to what you do, you got it down to a science. All right, you're very scientific with it. You got your whole formula, okay? You you got your X, you got your Y. All right, you, you know what you're doing. Some people will try to imitate, but it's only because they love what you do so much, they get a good feeling from it that you 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 motivate them to to want to do something similar. But a lot of people don't realize that they need to just go do their own thing because what you do can't be recreated. All right. They they can be real good at something that they do. They can be real great at something that they have an interest in. They can be real great at something that they love to do. But the 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 ones who are just trying to imitate and recreate and not go do their own thing, but go do somebody else's thing, they're not going to be able to do it the way you do it. Only you can do your thing the way you do it. Everybody has a thing. I can't do your thing the way you do it. You can't do uh, her thing the way she does it. Everybody's got their own thing. Everybody has something that they're great at, and everybody has something that allows them to to shine and to to really glow in a in in their moment you know it's like everybody has that thing about them this person likes this this person likes that everybody has something that they're great at that if they were to go out and believe in themselves and go work on it then they would become something that they could never imagine everybody has that thing about them all right we all have it but the way you do it it can't be done they're better off doing their own thing, and that's not a bad thing. We're not we're we're, we're not um, putting anybody beneath anybody by saying that. It's just that if, if you have your thing, they should have theirs. They shouldn't be trying to to do you. They should go do them. And when when people go do them, they discover something about themselves that they never knew was there. They discover their greatness. They discover uh, their talents, their gifts, things that they could appreciate about themselves. And that's what it's all about, finding something that you can appreciate about yourself. What can I appreciate about myself? What what good qualities do I have that make me feel great? You know, what what good things can I do with my life and my time that, that give me meaning and that allow me to look at myself other than an average person, look at myself other than just a regular person? All right, we, we want to be more than average. We want to be more than regular. We don't need to be out here doing somebody else's thing. We need to be doing our own thing. And if somebody else tries to do our thing, just be flattered by it. But the thing, and, and just know that it, even if someone attempts to do your thing, they're not going to be able to do it the way you can. All right, you, you do your thing like it's nobody's business. You, and you know what it is you do, whatever it is. All right, maybe you're a painter. Maybe you uh, take sneakers and you do uh, sneaker art, all right? Maybe you're an artist that way, all right? Maybe you enhance you you enhance uh, everybody's sneakers and make them look cool, all right? Maybe you're into fashion. Maybe you draw. Maybe you're into uh, anime, all right? Maybe you you and you do animations. You draw characters and cartoons, all right? Maybe you're into science, math, all right? Maybe you build machines and things like that. I don't know what you do, but nobody can do what you do the way you do it. So if, if, if you don't think there's anything that you're good at, that's a lie. If you don't if you don't think there's anything that you can uh, achieve, that's a lie. If you don't think there's any reason why you're here, that's a lie. There's there's something that you're here to do. You have to figure that out, and you have to start doing it like it's nobody's business. You have to not care if somebody is trying to to do what they see you doing. You just have to stay focused and keep going. All right. Don't let people try to distract you or get in the way. 
All right, some people they're just weird like that. Some people are phony. Some people want to um, uh, mirror other people and mimic other people. Some people think it's cool to to try to just either get in the way or sabotage or distract you or have you focus on something other than what you're supposed to be focused on. But the way you do it, it can't be done. All right, people can imitate. People can re remix it. They can recreate it. But it's a certain way that you do it that people can't match that level of skill. The, the level of skill you possess is unmatchable. All right, there, there, there are people who do the same thing. All right, there, there are, oh, there's more than one artist out here, more than one fashion designer, more than one painter, drawer, uh, ball player. But there, there, there are people who all do the same thing. And then when you see the group of people of everybody doing the same thing, when you look within that group, you see that person that stands out. You see that person that a lot of people pay attention to. You see that person that does the same thing as everybody else, but they're doing their thing with it and you can't deny it. And you're one of those people. Whether you know it or not, you're one of those people. You may have to dig deep and find it. You may have to put a lot of time and effort into yourself to find it, but it's there. You're one of those people that can do something like nobody else can. You have to see yourself as the person that is the best at what they do. You have to see yourself as being the person that, that has the level of, of potential to where nobody can do what it is you do, even though they're doing the same thing. There's a million other people out there doing it, but it's only one you. And that's how you have to look at it. It's only one, it's only one me. It's only one you. It's only one everybody. So when people are, are doing the same thing, don't be discouraged. Don't worry about who's better than you right now. Don't worry about uh, somebody taking an idea from you and trying to re-put it out there and, and reinvent it and, and, and promote it as their own. Don't focus on those things. You have to stay grinding because people, if, if, if people are taking from you, then that means people are taking notice of you. That's not the only thing they're taking. They may be taking and recreating, but the thing is they're taking notice. That means people see you. So that means all you have to do is keep grinding and keep working harder because sooner or later you're going to get the recognition you deserve. You're going to get the acknowledgement you deserve. You're going to get the credit that you deserve. And I know you're worthy of some, and I know you deserve some, but right now you might be in the stage where you need to keep going. You might be in the stage to where you just need to focus on not giving up. You might be in a stage to where you just need to, to focus on not being worried or being distracted. And there's nothing wrong with being in that stage. The, the fact that you're changing stages with, with, and, and making progress means that you're moving forward with what you want to do. And that's all that matters. You don't have to be where everybody else is at. You don't have to be front line and center. You don't have to be uh, the main event. But what you do have to do is you have to be the main event in your life and you have to be important enough to yourself. And what you have to what you're doing has to be important enough to you for you to keep making changes, for you to keep uh, uh, conquering challenges and and doing the unthinkable and, and uh, doing things you never thought you could and seeing yourself being someone that you never thought you could be. That's what that's what it all boils down to. That's what it's really all about. So they could they could copy you if they want. They could redo it if they want. They could remix it if they want. They could put it down, flip it, and reverse it. They, they, they could uh, put the Missy Elliott on it if they want to. But the thing is, it's only one you, and they're not going to be able to do you like they think they can. They think they can do you. They think they can be you. They think they can do it just like you, but they can't. They're, there's only one you. They'll never be able to do it like you can. I'm telling you right now, why do you think God made us all individuals? God made us all different. We're the same, but we, we, we have differences where there's different things about each and every person, but we're all people. So there's that, that, that proves the point. It's only one you. So you need to start living your life like it's only one you. You need to start living your life like you're important, like you matter, like you mean something. But to yourself, it doesn't matter if other people feel that way about you. You have to feel that way about yourself. So it, it you know, what, what, <laughs> like the way you do it, man, people are losing their mind trying to be as good as you. People are losing sleep trying to be as good as you. 
All right, they 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 are busting a blood vessel trying to be as great as you. All right, they're they're trying to catch up with you, keep up with you, compete with you. That's too much worrying about you. They need to just leave you be and just go be great. They just they they need to leave you alone and go be great. All right, because many have tried but haven't been able to accomplish your level of greatness. You know how many attempts they you know how many attempts they made at trying to, to keep up with you instead of just going and doing them? They might be trying to do this like you or do that like you, and it just look crazy. Because they're better off at, at at working at their skill level. They're better off at growing from where they're at. They don't they don't know what to do with they don't know what to do with what you got going on. They don't they don't know what to do with that. They're trying this, they're trying that, and, and they they they're just not getting anywhere with it. The the the, the competition is is already is is already over. They already lost. How you gonna compete with somebody where there's no competition? You already lost. The fact that they're worried about you instead of what they're doing, they already lost. Your level of greatness is increasing each and every day. Each and every, like Emil Koo said, shout out to Emil Koo. All right, this is her quote. And this is this is the lady who um, one of the the founding uh, uh, mothers of uh, what you what you call it um, affirmations. All right, Emil Koo. She played a big part in the creation of affirmations and and, and bringing them back out for for. I would say that the, the I'm not sure if it's the 19th or 20th century, but I, I, I believe it would be the uh, the 20th century. But um, anyway, you're like, yo, Mill Koo, she said every day and every way I get better and better. So it's like you it's just certain things that you do that other people don't apply to themselves. Like you apply affirmations to yourself, to your life. You believe them. You, ch- you, you change your genetic makeup, your cellular structure. When you tell certain things to yourself about yourself that are positive, it raises your, your vibratory rate, which raises your vibration, which gets you to feel good about yourself. And that that's why people can't compete. That's why your level of greatness can't easily be achieved. It's, it's not only are you working on your projects, not only are you you working on being great at, at, at what it is you do, but you're working on being great inside yourself. You're working on, on feeling great. You're working on thinking great. You're working on having great health, great mental health, great, great spiritual health. Uh, you, you don't want to be sick or unhealthy in any area of your life. And it's, it's, it's a lot you do to make yourself better on a day-to-day basis that allow you to have a level of greatness that just can't be reached. It can't be, you, 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 you they can't compete with you. They try to compete, but they, yo, they, they're going to, they're going to run out of air. They're going to run out of gas. Your level of greatness is one that, yo, know, many, many, many will try to reach, but many will fail. There's only a, only a small percentage of, of elite people who can reach the level of greatness that you you have achieved because not everybody wants to try and I, and people think you people could think you pull we, we pulling this out, uh, from out of nowhere if they want but how many people are, are really trying how many people really want to be something how many people really want to actually do something with their life when you look at people you'll see uh, as few as and far between it's not many when you come across some yo those are good people because how many people do you know actually want to do something with their life? It's not many. They can't do it like you do it. They 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 may try. They 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 may try to make it look good. They may try to make it appear like they they got something going on, especially around the time where they see you have something going on. Cause you know, you know how people are. Oh, you, you're not the only person that got something going on. The way you do it can't be done. I just want to let you know. It is impossible for them to try and imitate what can't be imitated. They're better off doing their own thing. They have something that they're good at, but they're too worried and too concerned about what you have going on. 
Don't allow these, these, these types of individuals to become a distraction. You have to keep it moving in terms of you have to keep taking steps towards your goal. You can't allow yourself to become distracted and, and not be focused because of, of some, some foolish games people are playing. That's what's going to happen. People are going to play games. People are going to be foolish. People are going to be petty. You're trying to get somewhere to where other people only could wish and, and imagine and, and that, they, that they could achieve. They just, just want to sit around and think about it. You actually want to work towards it. You actually want to reach a level of greatness. You don't just want to say, be able to say, hey, I'm great, or just think about being great. You actually want to work towards it. It's not many people that are willing to put in the blood, the sweat, the tears, the time, the seconds, the minutes, the hours, the days, the weeks, the months. It's not many people who are willing to go hard like that. You have that in you. And that's why the things you do, it can't, people can't uh, do the stuff you do. They could make it sound good. They can make it look good. They could almost create a similar vibe or a similar feel, but it, it will never, never be exactly like how you can do it. You're amazing in that way. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. You're amazing in that way. And they all see it and they all know it. And they, they, they will try to recreate it. But to those who do their own thing, hats off to you. To those who do their own thing, you're on, you're on your way to prosperity. For those who, who catch wind of what somebody's doing and it motivates them to go be an individual, it motivates them to go be original, it motivates them to go do them, do their own thing, God's got his hand on your life. When you go to do your own thing, you are, are moving God's hands into your life to be on your life because that's why you're here. That's why he put you here. He didn't put you here to copy others. He put you here to, to figure out what you want to do and do it. You're here to do you. You're not here to be a, a, a carbon copy. You're not here to imitate others. You, what, what, the same level of creativity and the same level of genius you, you are able to see in others you can find in yourself. You might think somebody is so smart or so great or so incredible. Those same things you see in them, start seeing them in yourself because they're there. They're not hiding from you. They're waiting for you to find them. Your, 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 your best version of yourself is one thought away. The way you do it, it can't be done. Many have tried. Many have tried to do things the way you've done and failed. They don't have the same pizzazz. They don't have the same razzle-dazzle. They don't have the same uh, uh, good vibes that come along with what it is you do because they're not doing their own thing. Some people are meant to do things. Some people are meant to do something else. When you find out what you're meant to do, you're going to have the same eager, the same, the same eagerness, the same hunger, the same drive, the same love, the same passion, the same focus for what it is that you want to do. But you got to find that. Everything isn't for everybody. Things that some people do, other people aren't going to be good at. But that doesn't mean you give up. That means you keep going and you keep looking and searching and, and digging until you find what it is you're supposed to do. And when you find out what it is you're supposed to do, you go full fledged on it. You don't waste no time with it. You, you, you beat that dream into reality. You, you, you smack the crap out of that dream until something comes from it. Now, a lot of people uh, work on something. They got projects. They got things that they're good at. They call it their baby. Smack it on a, on a you-know-what till it start crying, till, till you get some life out of it, all right? You want, you want to get some life out of the time and effort that you put into things, not, not just a, a waste of energy, not just a waste of time. You want to get life out of the things, out of your ideas, out of the things you create, out of the things you work on, out of the things that you see being able to happen for yourself. You want to get life not stagnation, which leads to death. The way you do it can't be done. Many have tried, but haven't been able to accomplish your level of greatness. You're great. You have greatness running all through your veins. 
greatness all in your spirit, all in your mind and your body and your soul and your heart. Go use it. Go do something with it. Go make something happen for yourself. I know you can. And now you do too. All right. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, love, and light. We out.